Hello and welcome to Raven's Planes. My name is Raven Black. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use VR tools to set up your start position in the plane in VR and make it stick. Uh, there's nothing worse than uh, you know bumping your controller or shifting your position in the plane than trying to land and trying to get back in the right position to be able to operate the plane. VR tools allows you to set up a start position and it'll save it permanently. So when you press the reset button either on the controller or a map key, which I suggest, uh, you return to the exact placement you were at and be able to fly the plane. What you need for this tutorial is VR tools and you can grab that in the description below. And once you download it, you're going to want to extract it and put the VR tools directory in your X-Plane resources plugins directory. So let's land this plane because you're going to want to be on the ground when you set this up and I'll show you how it works. So, we're back in the Cirrus Esther 22, we're parked, we're ready to set up our starting position. And uh, this is roughly where the starting position of this plane is, um, which is uh, actually pretty good. But there is a lot of planes out there where the starting position is pretty bad. Um, the first thing that I would suggest is uh, mapping a uh, reset position button. And I have done this on my yoke, which will remap my position. And uh, as you can see, when I do that, I have put myself back here. This is the starting position I picked, just so you can see the difference between what I'm about to set up and uh, what's going on here. Um, <laughs> this is also very close to a lot of Carinado start positions, but <laughs> nonetheless. Um, the next thing you want to do is, uh, you know, position yourself as where you want to be in the plane. So we're going to move ourselves over here. I have... Uh, forward back left and right on also on the uh, uh, yoke which is uh, on the um, uh, top hat which is always good to have so you can uh, position yourself it's also good to uh, look at outside view of the planes as well all right so I think roughly this is going to be a good position and uh, I'm going to want to uh, go in and go into the plugins VR tools, hotspots, and in here there's a, an option that says reload model if hotspot is modified. So if you don't have that checked, um, you're going to set the hotspot, but you're not going to be able to see it until you either exit out or reload the plane or anything. I just have this do it for me. Uh, there's one downside to this. Sometimes X-Plane will just crash reloading the plane. Um, it happens with reloading any plane, not just with the uh, VR tools. So uh, just keep that in mind, but the good thing is that it does save the position even if it crashes while trying to reload the plane. So once you boot up X-Plane again and you get back into it, you'll have your hotspot set up correctly. So the next thing is up top, you go to Hotspot Editor. So here's the Hotspot Editor. This thing has two hotspots, the pilot seat and the co-pilot seat. And we're going to select the pilot seat and uh, get ourselves situated here. I think this is pretty good. And we're going to say Update. And then you're going to say commit, but before you press commit, make sure you're looking straight ahead, just like if you're resetting your position, and then press the commit button. And now it's going to load, or crash, depending on how well this thing handles it. Um, but once we get back into the plane, and after this is done loading, I'll show you what happened to my position. Alright, X-Plane was able to... Uh, to load back in, uh, this plane does take a while to load. You kind of have to let it settle for a little bit, but it does seem like it's uh, settling down. And if I uh, press my reset button, I should be right about where I was, um, depending on the left right of my head. So it may take a couple tries to get it just right. I think back here is a little bit better. And I want to be just a little bit higher. I think this right here is perfect. Yeah, it's bumping the controls and stuff while you're in flight. It's just uh, not a good thing. You want to be completely set up 
So we're going to go back into VR Tools, Hotspots, Hotspot Editor. Here it is again. And this is looking really good. I don't think I need uh, a little bit over to the side. I'm going to push myself over this way. I think that's good. We're going to select Pilot Seat. We're going to say Update. We're going to look forward. And we're going to say Commit. Now, unfortunately, I've had this plane crash the second time I've tried to update my position. So I'm guessing it's going to crash this time. But when we come back, I'll show you where it is. All right. Now we've reloaded. We're back in the plane once again. And as you can see, my new uh, hotspot is uh, right where I need it. Right where I can get at the lever and stuff. I thought I was a little bit over to the side, um, which I may adjust now. I kind of want to be a little bit closer to the door and uh, once again plugins VR tools hotspots hotspot editor pilot seat I think I'm in a good spot here we just say update and say commit while looking straight ahead all right and it has put us back in the plane I'm gonna let this thing settle a little bit because it does take a little bit for this particular plane to load um, but now if I reset my position, I am over a little bit. I am uh, closer to the window. Whoops. I'm going to stay straight ahead. And uh, yeah, this seems to be like a nice position. I mean, I could even be over just a little bit farther if I wanted to. So why don't we jump over to a different plane. How about the Just Flight Piper Arrow? And we're going to set up its pilot seat hotspot. All right, now we're in the Just Flight Piper Arrow 3, and as you can see, the hotspot for this one is roughly around here. This is where my yoke is, and that's where the actual plane yoke is. And I, I don't, I like these matching up one to one, um, since they're they're pretty much the same size. And uh, so yeah, I'm a, a bit far away from everything in this plane where the seat position is. So I'm gonna move myself forward. I like to uh, line it up roughly where my yoke is. Bottom of my yoke is there. That's so a little high though. I'm gonna move it down just a little bit, but the yoke should be roughly in the same position that it is in the plane here. And uh, now I'm a little bit closer to uh, the things I'm gonna be using in the plane. And uh, so we're gonna set it up right about here. And so we go into VR tools once again, hotspots, hotspot editor. As you can see, there's a few more seats in here, and you can set each one of these as well. There is many other features for this thing, for being able to transfer between seats and uh, doing a lot of other things. Uh, I'm not really covering that because uh, I don't really use it that much. This is the number one thing that I use it for, is for setting the pilot seat where I need it to be. So when I get back in the plane, um, I'm right where I need to be. So I'm going to look forward here and press the commit button. And now it's going to reload the plane. Now that we have reloaded back into the plane, as you can see, my new start position is uh, right where I left it. Uh, right in the front, a lot closer to some of the instruments uh, and things like that. Um, I can uh, actually lean forward a little bit here, kind of where I was, uh, roughly. And there's where my yoke is, which lines up with the yoke here. And uh, yeah, now my new hotspot's here instead of back here where it was. Um, which was a little bit too far away from things. Uh, as you can see, as I move my head around and reset the position and stuff, uh, it adjusts us slightly. It adjusts slightly and uh, it's a little finicky, but well, at least it gets me a lot closer to where I want to be. If I happen to, you know, jump out of the plane here, all I have to do is look straight forward and bam, I'm back in the plane operating it. So I hope this helps you out. I hope this, uh, this plugin helps you out to get your uh, seat adjustments correct. Uh, I know on some of the Carinado planes, they're way back and uh, it makes it really difficult. Like once you get in the plane, you're like, oh, I got to push myself forward and, and uh, be able to uh, adjust my seat before I can actually take over the plane. With this one, I just jump in and boom, off I go. So I hope this helped you. And uh, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in the skies.